hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Motivation. I'm back with another video. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm back with another video for you guys. I decided to come on and do the verse of the day and the devotion of the day with you guys. Today is one of those days that you just want to lay around and not do much of nothing. And that's exactly how I am feeling today. So I'm not doing nothing. I want to read. I really wanted to share with you guys the verse of the day and the devotion of the day uh, and just talk with you guys. Also, I wanted to remind you guys again, remember I gave you some information about the Bible and this is some very good information that I think everybody should know, especially if you are a beginner in Christ. Talking about, I wanted to ask you guys, did you know that the Bible has 66 books in it? There are 66 books combined in the entire King James Bible. And I wanted to let you guys know that Isaiah has 66 chapters in it. Each one of those chapters in Isaiah represent one book of the Bible. One book of the Bible. Okay? I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it's not... Uh, it's just good to know. It's good to know... Uh, the Bible is good to read the Bible, to understand the Bible, to get the scriptures of the, you know, the word. I'm not a scholar. I don't, I'm not a quote person where I can just quote the Bible, but I have read it. I understand it. Okay. So let me share with you guys my snacks. I have some water here. This is my, my snack, noonday snack. I have, look. Have y'all ever had these old snaps, pineapple bites? I've never had this, so this is going to be a review on the old snaps, pineapple bites review. They are fat-free, gluten-free, and made with non-GMO pineapples. They are pickled, sweet, and savory. These uh, have 35 calories per serving. One serving per bag, okay? So it's only a serving per bag. And all you have to do is tear it open and eat it. These are, mm, I have never had them, so we're going to try them together. But I have my, it's probably ain't nothing y'all ever heard of. This is some hawk head, hawk head cheese. Hawkhead South, as a man. You can buy this at Woodlands, um, pretty much any store that sells country food. And you just eat it with regular crackers. I have unsalted crackers. This is my snack. I'll be snacking on that today. Um, mm, mm, I don't know if I'm even making dinner today. Today is one of those days, but let's go ahead and say grace and open up and take a bite and see how these taste. This is my first time having these. Oh, snap. Let's hope we can capture that. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for blessing me to live and see this day. I thank you for each and every member of my family, Lord. I thank you for continuing to watch over my daughter and her kids and and protecting them and blessing them and keeping them safe from all hurt, harm, or danger, Lord. I thank you for providing their needs, Lord, and some of their wants. Father God, I ask that you bless these pineapple bites, Lord, and let them be a nourishment for my mind, body, soul, and spirit, and also let it be a help to my weight loss and not a hinder. In Jesus' name, amen. So I've never had these. This is a review. I have had the regular pickles in the bag. Uh, I didn't open it up good enough. My bad. I've never had them. We're going to try them together. I don't know how good they is. I couldn't even uh, think of eating 
pineapples, pickled pineapples. But let's see. I hope they're good, Lord. Please don't let it upset my stomach. This is what it looked like. Mm. Okay, if you haven't tried them, go try them. They're not bad. I just feel like you need... It should be more sour. I don't know. I'm more sweet, but it's not bad. They're not a bad snack. I think of you if you're craving, if you just want to eat to be eaten, if you eat these, I feel that they would make you don't want to eat nothing. Kind of like a grapefruit to make you don't want to put nothing in your mouth behind it because it makes you whatever you drink taste like the grapefruit. That's how I think this is. It do got a hint of sweetness. I don't know. This sweet and sour don't go good together. And I have had some sour and sweet things that go real good together. Mm. I think If I had to rate this pineapple bite, pickled, sweet and sour pineapple bite, if I had to rate this, I would give this uh, a five. If you like sour, you would like this, and if you like sweet, but I think it's it'll give you heartburn because I can kind of feel it so it tastes pretty good but I wouldn't want it now let's get into the real reason for this video ha, ha, ha. let me see okay let's get into the real video. Uh, now, the verse of the day, my motivators, are coming from Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. And it reads as thus, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon this earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. It's telling us, do not lay nothing up for yourself on this earth, but you should be uh, storing things up for eternal heaven, which is your soul salvation. Because what you get here on this earth, when you leave, when you die and transition it to the other side, you cannot take it with you. So don't lay things up on this earth. It's not about this earth. Only thing on this earth you should be doing is preparing a way Making a way, preparing a way for your salvation, for your heavenly home. And it says right here, listen, the inspiration says, Jesus tells us not to accumulate boards of material possessions because they will not last. The cloth will be eaten by moths and de deteriorate into nothing. Metal objects will rust and crumble into dust. All our earthly possessions are temporary. Scripture tells us it is important to set aside a portion of our wealth in order to provide for our family and maintain financial stability. You hear that? Set aside a portion of your wealth in order to provide for your family and maintain financial stability. 
Wealth only becomes troublesome when we allow it to control our behavior. We will not become greedy by stashing away meaningless worldly treasures. Instead, we choose to provide for others and give with a happy heart. Do not store everything up for this earth, but for eternal, eternal heaven, guys. Then it say, the Heavenly Father, you are our treasure, our only treasure. We will use the wealth you have blessed us with to provide for others. With happy, genuine hearts, in Jesus' name, amen. The devotion of the day, the title is called, We Have Been Called Blessed by Jesus. We have been called blessed by Jesus. And it's saying, would we live without hope? Would we live without hope? I already know that answer is no. Let's go to Luke 11, verse 27 right quick. Do you guys think we would be living without hope? Because you have to think about if God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, what you think he would have did for us? We going to Luke, I think it was 11. Uh, 27. Let's see. Yeah. Luke chapter 11, verse 27 and 28. And guys, let's read. It read as this. It read. Let's bring you up a little bit. Let's come up a little bit. Let's come up a little bit. It read as this. And it came to pass as he Spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Let's see. Let's go one more time. Wait a minute. Let's go. I want to go to... Uh, sorry about all that moving, okay, guys? But I want to get the other Bible. And let's read it. The English version of it. So that's Luke 11, verse 27 and 28. Let's go to Luke 11. Verse 27 and 28. Y'all know Luke is a, a long chapter. Luke 27. And it reads as thus. This is the English version. Okay. While Jesus was still talking, a woman in the crowd spoke up. The woman who gave birth to you and nursed you is blessed. 27. But if we go back. To Luke 27, it said this, listen to this. And it came to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the woman that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. Talking about the breast. And then verse 28 say, Jesus replied, that's true, but the peoples who are really blessed are the ones who hear and obey the word of God. The woman said that blessed, uh, blessed, God blessed the woman who gave birth to Jesus and who nursed him. But Jesus said, told her, that's true. He said, but the peoples who are really blessed are the peoples of minds, the peoples of God that obey, that hear what God is saying and obey his word. They are the ones that bless. One thing about Jesus is he did not come to, uh, to, uh, he did not come to, to, uh, rec to recognize or to have, um, respect the person. He know who his mother was. He know who 
birthed him. But he said his mother and his father is God. And anytime somebody always bring up his mother, he say, I come not to serve man, but to serve my God. Okay. So he loved his mother, I'm sure. And he respected her. But God was his number one priority. And then it said for verse 29, and when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, this is an evil generation. They seek a sign and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonas, the prophet. Okay. He was saying that this is an evil generation that that we are living in, these are evil generations, and that they seek signs. But he said, ain't no sign going to be given to you. No sign is going to be given to you except for Jonas. Jonas, the prophet. But the sign of Jonas, the prophet. Now, let's go to, to the word in my study Bible. I'm sorry. I hope I'll make y'all follow me. Because I have you guys sitting on the bed. Let's go to Luke. Luke 11. Uh, Luke 11. 27, 28. In this, in my study Bible. Because I love the footnotes in this Bible. Luke is 11. 27, 28. And I think I read 29. In this Bible, it reads the same way that I read in out of my phone. And it came to pass that he spoke these things. A certain woman of the company lift up her voice and said unto him, Bless is the womb that bear thee, and the paps which thou suck. And he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Blessed are they that hear and keeps the word of God. Now, if we go to the footnotes on 11 and 27, it says Jesus was speaking to the peoples who put extremely high value on family ties. Their genealogies were important, guarantees that they were a part of God's chosen peoples. A man value came from his ancestors and a woman value came from the sons that she bore. Jesus' response to the woman meant that a person's obedience to God is more important than his or her place on the family tree. Being obedient to God and hearing his word, this is for us because this is the New Testament. It is being... Being obedient to God, hearing his word, and being obedient to it is more important to us than our family inheritance, uh, being our family tree, however you want to put it. Then it says the patient work of consistent obedience is even more important than the honor of hearing a respected son. And then what was the sign of Jonas? God asked Jonah to preach repentance to the Gentiles. Jesus was affirming his message. Salvation is not only for the Jews, but all peoples. All peoples. And Matthew 12 and 20 add another explanation. Jesus would die and rise after three days as the prophet Jonah was rescued after being in the belly of the fish for three days. Days that is the footnotes on Luke eleven twenty seven, and if you want to uh, read that and find out what it is about, read uh, Luke eleven. Luke eleven is how tells us how Jesus was teaching his disciples about prayer. Then, if you from the fourteenth verse to the twenty eight verse, yeah, the twenty eight verse. It was it's taught is uh teaching us about how Jesus was giving an answer to hostile ac accusation that the people was giving him, and then the 29th is where Jesus was warning us against unbelief. 
So read Luke chapter 11, the whole chapter. It's a long chapter, but I guarantee you, you will have a whole different eyesight, insight of what you read and ask God to reveal the mysteries of his word to you, to put within you a spirit of discernment so you can understand his word, so that you can take his word to heart and so that you can be able to witness to somebody about the good news of Jesus Christ. Let's go back to the devotion. Once again, the devotion, the title say, we have been called blessed by Jesus. And we have been called blessed by Jesus. Because if we hear and obey the word that's in that Bible, we are blessed among blessed. I hope you guys got something from me. The inspiration tells us that this passage from Luke is similar to reading, to the reading we had the other day about John the Baptist and Jesus saying that the last in the kingdom of God were greater than him. That the least in the kingdom of God was greater than him. Jesus is certainly not saying that his mother Mary should not be considered blessed, but that we too have been blessed to know of salvation. That's so true. We have been blessed to know of our salvation. We have not been visited by the angel as Mary was. We have been assured that this message is from God by an angel telling us of a miracle that has taken place. No, we have trusted in the word of those who came before us and who passed on their faith to us. We and they trusted the word of the writers of the gospel. Once our eyes were open to the gift of salvation that Jesus earned for us, we began to see the ways in which God has always been present in our lives. Now we can see the blessing that God has given us and we can and should consider ourselves to be blessed. Just think about how barren our life would be if we believe that life on earth with all its pain and difficulties were all there, how would we act? Would we live without hope? Would we be one of those who took advantage of every pleasure offered to us regardless of the pain we might be causing others? Would we be, who would we be if we didn't know that we are beloved and blessed children of God? Mary was blessed to carry Jesus in her womb and care for him and to teach and to train him and then watch him complete his mission on this earth before joining him in heaven. We are blessed to carry the Holy Spirit within us. Temples of the Holy Spirit, as Paul says, when we remain faithful to his words, we too will join him in the kingdom with Mary and all the saints, those who heard the word of God and kept it. Thank you, Father God. Father God, right now, Lord, I want to thank you for the blessing you have given us. You have blessed, have blessed by calling us your beloved children and by sending your son to save us so that we could join with you in the heavenly kingdom. In Jesus' name, Father God, I ask that you continue to bless me to be able to share and spread your word, that you continue to bless me to hear and to obey your word. And I ask that you order my steps, direct my path, tame my tongue, and keep me safe every day, wrapped in your loving arms. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, guys. I hope you got something out of that devotion, out of that verse of the day. Because it is truly awesome. If you read Luke 11, I think that word will carry you on for the next couple of days. Because it's a pretty long chapter. And that's a lot of reading. Now, let's get back to this. What, what are we on? Let's get back to this. Let me know if you had the, the, the dill pickled pineapple bites. <laughs> Because 
I don't, I like them. They all right. But it's nothing I would just say, oh, I want me some pickled pineapple bites. No, I give this a five. A five out of ten. It gets a five for me. Now, let me get to what I do like. My snacks. Let me open my crackers. That's, this is Hawkhead sauce. Hawkhead cheese, whatever you want to call it. You can buy it at Woodman's. Um, what else they sell there? Woodman's. You mostly got to buy this at a country store. Oh, we have a store up here called Pete's Fruit Market. And you can buy it there. But this is it. Anybody know from down south know what this is? <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy this video. I just wanted to come on and talk to y'all because I know I wasn't doing a mukbang or anything today. Like I say, it's a lazy day, but it's a day that I can come over here and chit chat with my motivators and share the word of God. That's what this platform is for. I like this. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm getting ready to end this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment down below. Remember that we are all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace. We all have because Jesus died so that we may have salvation hope, and peace. And remember that God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son so that we may have hope and peace. Until the next video, I love you all. God bless. Stay safe, stay prayed up, keep the faith, and continue to say a prayer for me and my family. Bye. I love you. Happy Tuesday.